One of the biggest questions people ask when starting bonsai as a hobby is how do the trees stay so small? The answer lies in the techniques of repotting and root pruning which also keep the tree young and healthy. The first thing you need for bonsai is a good tree. For this demonstration we'll be using the Morton Bay Fig which is very hardy and very good material for beginners. When you are looking for your tree, try to find one with a wide base and it has a trunk that tapers towards the apex. When choosing your pot, you should try to find one with a length about two-thirds the height of the tree. In terms of shape and colour, that can be a personal choice, but the pot should always complement the tree rather than overwhelm it. You'll notice there are large draining holes inside the pots. To make sure the soil doesn't come straight out, we need to cover them with mesh. To do this, cut the mesh so it is just the right size to cover the holes. Make sure you've got the rough side up, then secure them in place with a bit of wire. Bend them back on the bottom of the pot. The tree also needs a safety belt to keep it steady in the pot. Measure some wire to about the width of the pot plus one third. Thread it through the drainage holes. and bend the ends out of the way. Now you can spread a layer of drainage petals. And then fill about half the pot with soil. set up the pot or you can start to work on the tree. Gently remove it from the old pot by squeezing the sides and sliding it out.
To remove the excess soil from the root ball, you can use a bonsai rake, but chopsticks will do the job just as well. When you finish cleaning up the roots, you can then trim off about half and any very heavy roots. Make sure you leave plenty of small feeder roots as they're essential for absorbing nutrients and keeping the tree healthy. Now that you can see the whole of the tree, you can decide where the front will be. First, look for the widest part of the tree, then choose the side with the better trunk line. In this case, it will be this side. Make sure the bonsai comes towards you like a friend. This gives it better perspective and adds more dimensions to the tree. If you let it lean away, it's almost as if it wants to get away from you. When you position your bonsai in the pot, make sure it's not dead centre because that can seem unnatural and boring. Placing it slightly off centre gives the tree more flow and movement, again improving the perspective and adding depth. Play around until you find somewhere where the tree looks good. Once you find that spot, bring the two safety wires from before behind the tree. Twist them together until they are just tight enough to stop the tree from moving around. You can use some pliers if you need to. Now we need to work the soil in to fill in any gaps and to help keep the tree supported. Just using a pair of chopsticks you can fit quite a bit of soil inside this little pot. Keep doing this until the tree becomes more stable. Just make sure not to pack it in too tightly or the water will not be able to go through. Finally, decorate the soil with some small pebbles. This looks great and helps to keep the moisture inside the pot. And there's your first bonsai. Make sure to place your bonsai in a shady spot or where there is filtered sunlight for at least a week after repotting. After that, you should place your bonsai in an area that receives the morning sun. Water your bonsai every day so that it doesn't dry out and give slow-release fertilizer after about 30 days.